So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks more specifically. We're going to be looking at your Galahorn inspired armor. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and the shader videos. They're both right here. You guys can check them out. And Titans and Hunters, you guys have your videos right here as well. So for this video, we're going to be looking into the Galahorn inspired armor set, taking pieces from that armor and then making individual sets from those pieces, which is what we usually do when a new armor set comes out. So if you guys like the video, if this is your first video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet twice, this one and the next one. This one is really, really cool. I really like where my head was going because I'm leaning more into the glow of the actual helmet. And I think the wings look really cool as well. So for the helmet, Scaldic Chant Hood. For the arms, we're going to be using the Sun Bracers with the Eyes of Mercury ornament. For the chest piece, Hexer Robes. For the boots, Iron Companion Legs. And then for the Bond Technologic Bond. For the shadering, Frost. First Frost is a good, great shader actually for combining the eyes of mercury color because the eyes of mercury ornament does not change color and if you want to combine that glow first frost is going to be the choice you're going to have to do because i don't there is other ones but i feel i feel like frost first frost is just the best one so i definitely like this one a lot it definitely gives off like a a warrior look considering the helmet is very reminiscent of like the medieval helmets just a little bit like just really stylized i should say and then you have swords in the back some chain mail some stuff and then the boots i think are really cool as well and then the arms are very just like fantastical and whatnot so i definitely like this one is it the best one i don't think it's the best one because quite frankly the next one is the best one let's actually look at it real quick so this one is definitely the best one because the starfire protocol with the Skaldic Chant gloves and hood, make this set look absolutely fucking phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think, but I definitely think this is a banger. For the shadering, Precursor Vex Chrome is such a great choice because that white and gold is almost makes me look angelic, which is super dope. For the boots, Atavastic Idol boots, and then for the bond, we're going for the Ancestral Bond with no bond, so that way I have no bond because it's symmetrical it looks beautiful the only thing i would switch out would probably be the boots because this is not bird themed it's more it's like specifically when i use advastic idol boots it's because i'm going for a bird look like i'm using a bird helmet with like a bird chest piece for feathers usually but in this case i really think i should have gone with something that has a little bit more of an engraved look because that would have been a lot better so i would actually just switch out the boots for something that has an engraving I think that would have been a lot better. That being said, I don't think it looks bad. I, again, like I just said, just goes for something that has an engraving and I think it's gonna just knock it out of the park. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Definitely my favorite look right now. As for the next one, we're gonna be going for the Osmiomancy gloves for the exotic, for the helmet, sunlit mask, for the chest piece, Scaldic chant robes, for the boots, Hexer boots, and then for the Bond, Nerwin's iron bond. So I actually really like this set. It gives off a uh, like, I don't know Victorian slash like I would say Victorian like like a Victorian era like warlock that is a pompous asshole but is super cool I guess I don't know like that's where my head goes when I see this the helmet and the chest piece really pull you in to that aesthetic and the boots also is really good choice because I just I think it looks really good the Nerwin's iron bond I think it's like the weakest portion of this whole set that being said I don't think it looks terrible I just think it's the weakest part for the shadering whispered sheen is such a dope shader because not only does it give you that really rich gold and red but armor is going to be bone or not bone i saw uh, wood so if you like that that's really cool um i specifically only chose it because of the red and gold let me know what you guys think and then last but not least this one might be a little bit familiar if you guys saw the hawk fury sets for the warlocks which is right here uh we're going to be reusing that one just because uh, i really like it and the really the only thing that would switch out which funnily enough i did mention this in that video as well is the helmet i would actually switch out the helmet for something else because unfortunately the hawk fury's hood takes the off color so you see the silver and then everything else is just a completely different color so it's kind of like it takes you out of the set in my opinion so for the arms we're going to be using the chimera sting for the ne necromancy gloves necromancy no necromancy why am i saying necromancy necrotic grips there we go as for the arms, we're going to be using the Chimera Sting ornament for the Necrotic Grips, which looks really cool with this set. For the chest piece, Don, Don Singer Robes is what we're using. Scaldic Champ Boots and Bond is what we're going to be using from this set. So 
I definitely think the set looks cool for the shader and dragon's teeth is what we're using I definitely like this shader I just would switch the helmet out so that way I can have more of that bronze because I feel like that is what makes this set look cool that being said I also am using Dra dragon's teeth because a it does have a yellow glow which is decent for the fire color but it also has a distinct look for the boots you will see that the pants has white green and black and I wanted to really showcase that because again that, I think that's a really strong point for the boots so Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the first and second and third sets are absolute bangers. Like legitimately, one of my favorite sets right now is going to be the second and third one. The last one, I definitely think if you switch out the helmet and maybe the shadering, it would be really, really good. The shadering is really cool. Let me just get that out of the way. I like the shader. I think it's just the fact that I don't like it because it's yellow. If you could find one that's red, I think that would be a lot better because then it would combine itself better with Don Singer robes. But let me know what you guys think, Warlocks. I will be posting some more content in the future. Don't worry. I will not stop making content. It's just that uh, I'm going to be a lot more busy with real life stuff. That being said, I will be posting my Patreon and other stuff in the future. So that way, slowly but surely, if we can get enough money from Patreon, I can actually quit my jobs and do this full time. That would be the goal. So. Let me know what you guys think. Warlocks, did I do you guys justice? Let me know. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.